Okay, we are going to do an instructional video to the song El El Yon by Greg Silverman. The first part of this dance, it will be facing center, and you'll do side behind, side touch, left behind, left, pivot out as you touch to face out with your back to the center of the circle you're facing out. You'll repeat that, right behind, right touch, left behind, left touch, but stay facing out, then do two mayas. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And those mayas are to your left. Then you'll do two right front trixias. One, and two. And then after that first time, you'll do an extra Mayam Churkasia, Mayam Churkasia as a little transition filler. And it brings up something. You can do a little intro with this one if you would like to kind of fill the time instead of just standing there staring until he starts singing. You can do two Mayams, two Churkasias, Mayam Churkasia, Mayam Churkasia, whatever works. But that'll fill, actually two Mayams and two Churkasias works very well as an intro to the song. So anyway, I've shown you part one. Uh, and there is one part in the dance where I'll just mention this to you right now, where with part one, you'll do the side together, side, touch, side together, side, touch, face out, right, and left. And you won't do the two mayams. When you do that, you'll do you just flip, do a little flip over your left shoulder to go this way because you're going to do counterclockwise with part two. And that's what we're going to talk about part two right now. It happens I think it's three separate times in this song and each time you're gonna see a few little tweaks to it um, <laughs> it's fun part the first time it's a little transition piece after part one and it'll you'll do it it, it repeats twice you do it two times and it's exactly the same both times here so it's you go going counterclockwise you're gonna do a cha-cha-cha and do your arms almost like you're doing backstroke Okay, so it's right cha-cha, left cha-cha, weights on the left foot, take the right foot, cross over here, and then you, your body's going to kind of want to go to the left, to, into the center of the circle, and use it kind of almost, the best way I know to describe it, it's like you're winding up, you know, like a little wind-up toy. So you're winding up, and then you're going to do a two-point turn to the right, so wind it up and turn two. It's going to repeat a second time in this transition. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wind up. Turn two. Okay, then you go back to part one. The next time we do part two, it's going to be a little different. We're going to still do this cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha, cross and turn two. And then when it repeats the second one, it'll be cha-cha-cha. Cha cha cha, no wind up on this, just go pivot, do a quarter pivot to face inside the circle and go boom. Almost like a cheerleader. And you'll hear in the music, it makes sense with the music. It looks funny when you're trying to just explain it without the music. But that'll do that. Then you'll repeat it the first time with the wind up turn. Again, with the da da da, boom. And then the wind up turn. So it'll go five reps that time. The last time you do that at the end of the song, it will be like this. That same first part, da da da, cross and turn to cha cha cha, cha cha cha, boom. Then this is where it's going to change. It's going to be that first half again, cha cha cha, wind up and turn. Watch this, cha cha cha. Oh, hi, please get out of the camera. I'm sorry, my cat. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> you don't need to get in the camera. Okay, so about where we were. It's that right cha cha, left cha cha, turn and turn. Wind up and turn, then cha cha cha, cha cha cha, pivot quarter turn in like you did when you went boom, but instead of going boom, you'll say side together, side close. And your arms will be going up and down with each step, palms facing in. And you'll do that three times to end it. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. 
Let's hope that makes sense. Okay, part, let's see, that was part two, okay? Um, I'll show you part three, and this one, the performance video that we did um, was a little different than what I'm about to show you right now, because um, I'm gonna keep it a little simpler, and I'll show you what we did in the performance video. Uh, maybe we do that in the future, but for right now, let's keep it simple this way. I'm just gonna side together, side to the right, cross to coupe, and one, two, three, and do the same thing to the left. Side together, side, coupe to the left, and one, two, three, cross, and you'll repeat it again, right and left. Uh, and then it, so you'll do right, left, right, left, then it repeats a second time, right, left, right, left. What I did in the performance video to keep it from being so monotonous so that we're not doing um, four full sets, of right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, I did to the right, two, three, four, left, two, two, three, four, then spun around a little more than a full turn, I think a turn and a quarter, had my right shoulder facing out, did that same pattern, one, two, three, four. Now the left shoulder's facing in, do it to the left. And then when we turn, come back around to face center. So it's just a modification to keep it from being so monotonous. But for now, we'll just stay in that straight right left pattern uh, in the facing center in the circle. So that's part three. Part four is the more complex of all of it. And I actually borrowed this part from a dance that Mindy choreographed um, called Floodgates by Greg, Greg Silverman. And it's, it's a fun little part. Um, it's a little more complex. And if you have trouble with it, you can just kind of march it, march it, march it, and just, <laughs> so team, keep that in mind. Another thing you can do, I've had some folks do in the past, if they didn't know that piece, when we would get to that one little piece, they've just kind of stepped outside the circle and then when we finish, step back in. So a couple of things you can do until you really get this one and feel solid with it, because it is an advanced combination. Starts out balancing to the right, to the left, so boom, boom, then dip cut. So right, left, right, dip cut. Again, balance right, left, right, dip cut, close. Same thing to the left. Balance and dip cut, close. Then you rock back, shift the weight on the left, shift weight back, to, excuse me, shift the weight on the right foot, then the weight on the left, then into the circle, tiny little steps, Debka, Debka, and Debka, just as a reminder, is just a heel toe, heel toe. So that's balance, Debka, balance, Debka, back, front, Debka, Debka. Then with your right shoulder kind of going into the center of the circle, Go down and then lift as you come around to do a four point turn and close it. Okay, then step out to the, do a, a Yemeni, actually a, a Yemeni to the left, left Yemeni, step out to the right and then just slide it closed. So put it together and it happens really fast in this song. So boom, 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 boom. So I'm saying you may want, if you don't until you're familiar with it, you can march it or just step out. So balance, debka, balance, debka, rock back, dum, dub, debka, debka, boom. One, two, three, four, close. Give night, step out to the right and slide closed. Those are all the parts. So I will also do a demo video.